it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for October 2024. On October 2nd, we are going to have our new moon solar eclipse taking place at 10 degrees in Libra energy. Of course, this is going to be the second eclipse event in this eclipse season. The first one began with the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces that we had on September 17th. We are very much still in this eclipse season, this eclipse energy, thus the confusion, thus the delusion, thus the exhaustion that many of us are feeling at this particular point in time. Again, going to recommend that you take a listen to this week's Ascension forecast where I rattled off all of the energy symptoms that we are going to experience with the fluctuation of some of the Asher events taking place here this week and the impact that it will have on our physical bodies. Now, of course, this new moon solar eclipse, I made a whole astro class about this particular event because, again, we're wrapping up this karmic chapter that began in April of 2023. We are about to dive into a brand new chapter, which is the Pisces and Virgo axis that has its own astro class that we'll, we will be working on until 2027. Those particular astro classes are available on my Patreon. You do not have to become a Patreon member in order to access them. They are individually available for a particular seat price as well. These are special editions. These are major, major life lessons that we're all going through. So whether you want to join into that astro class or not, there is a moon guide available that will definitely help kind of walk you through some of these particular aspects. This is a major pivot point. This is a major change in our timelines, in our lives, in our circumstances. And it would really be beneficial if you could roll with it instead of being dragged. So we do have this new moon solar eclipse in Libra popping off at this 10 degree and it's going to be taking place October 2nd, 2.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when it reaches its peak. Of course, we've been working on this Aries and Libra in axis since early 2023. This is about relationship dynamics, starting with the relationship dynamic with ourselves, building this new identity, bringing on this new version of self and actually anchoring it in. Of course, the new moon is the dark phase of the moon. So we're fit, sitting in the funk. We're sitting in the brokenness. We're recognizing what is wrong. We're recognizing what it is that we no longer want to pour into and experience and have continue in our lives. And of course, when we come up with alternatives, instead, that becomes the seed of intention that we plant under this particular lunar phase and that we hope to manifest. There's going to be a lot of darkness, mostly because that's what a new moon is all about anyways. But secondary to that, it's an eclipse, which means that this is a new moon on steroids. A solar eclipse, typically speaking, is going to add something to our lives. And in Libra energy, because it's an air energy, it's likely going to be clarity and insight, conversations, details that we have definitely need to be factoring into our decision making. Whatever you're arriving at right now is not the complete picture. Again, we're being eclipsed from the information, eclipsed from the truth, eclipsed from the path, the plan, the direction to move on and move forward. The information that we're currently lacking, even though we think we know we, what we're doing, we think we know what's going on. That will not be fully revealed to us until we kind of move away from these particular eclipse energies. Again, going to recommend that you listen to the October energy forecast so that you understand the astro shifts that are taking place this month and what that actually means for you. And again, I'm really going to recommend that you download that energy guide for your particular zodiac sign so that you understand the season and cycle of where it is that you're at and how these energy aspects are actually going to push you away from something and push you closer to something. Again, we're lacking clarity. That clarity is coming, but it's not happening under this event. So Libra energy, of course, is represented by the scales. The scales have been out of whack, mostly because, again, we've been breaking away from the old version of self and the old realm reality world that that old version of self has created. The new version of self just getting anchored in, just getting comfortable, just getting familiar. And now we're having a south node in Libra activation. This is what this eclipse is all about. Putting into perspective where it is now that we have to go, where it is that we have to grow independently 
independently, individually, by ourselves to get to know thyself so that we can heal thyself, which means that partnerships, friendships, relationship dynamics are popping off. That's what that Libra energy is all about. We also have to take into consideration that, again, this is an ending of a karmic chapter as a new karmic chapter is set to begin. We've been in a completion phase. It is never fun to go through change, transformation and an adjustment period. But that is the name of the game. Soul contracts were up for renewal, up for review, and in some cases terminated, in some case initiated under that full moon, lunar eclipse and Pisces energy. And especially where the people in our lives are concerned, that is definitely going to be a major focus under this particular eclipse event. So there's definitely a lot going on. If you download your moon guide or take part in that astral class, you're going to realize that we have a beautiful grand water trine taking place between Venus, Mars and Saturn. We all have that activating certain sections, certain sectors, houses, activation points in our chart. If you want to take a look at that, we do have a lot of very positive aspects helping us to grow, helping us to evolve, even though we don't really see it taking place in our physical realms as of yet. There is this very subtle energy energy of growth, of hope, of optimism, moving into a new path, moving into a new direction. There are a lot of positive aspects helping us to really open up our minds, open up our heart space to new options, new opportunities for us to be real and raw and authentic, aligning with our heart space, aligning with our higher self, building a realm, a reality that not only looks good, but that feels good as well. And because Venus is the ruler over this particular event, we are definitely needing to drop down in the heart space to really kind of unpack a lot of the emotional baggage that we've been carrying in into the present moment, we need to leave a lot of that behind. And of course, like I mentioned, she's doing a deep dive in Scorpio energy, which of course is a very intense chapter of getting that heart space freed of the gunk, freed of the weight and putting us in a situation to get real and raw and vulnerable with ourselves with what it is that we want to build, we want to create from here. So again, you will kind of discover if you download the moon guide that the elemental energy profile is equal air to equal water, we're trying to bring our thoughts, our ideas, our emotions, into balance. Again, Libra energy is all about balancing those scales out. And so again, there's going to be a lot of teeter tottering, there's going to be good moments, and then 60 seconds later, bad moments, and then back again, in order for us to find a new sweet spot, where it is that we're going to be operating from, as far as that new grounding point between our heart and between our head. So there's definitely a lot to unpack. Thus why I have created a whole Eclipse Edition series. I am going to recommend that you do a deep dive in that, that you apply it to your chart so that you can understand where it is that certain endings, certain closures are taking place and where in your life this is impacting you the most and where it is that again, there's a gentle nudge pushing you in a brand new path, a brand new direction.